I'm 22 and I'm feeling lost. Probably the most lost I've ever felt. And you know, I don't know, just being 22 in and of itself is kind of weird because 22 is old in a way. Like I'm an adult, like <laughs> what? And it's also exciting because I don't know, mentally I feel like I'm still somewhere between 18 to 20 or something like 22. Feels weird to say out loud. Anyway, I figured that since I wasn't that active on YouTube for the past year or so, I'll give you an update on what's been going on behind the scenes and what my plans are. And honestly, this is pretty much just a way for me to remember what I felt like before my 22nd birthday. So I'll be able to watch it in a few years and be like, oh wow, that kid. <laughs> so hopefully this will become a tradition up until my 30th birthday. Uh, but we'll have to see about that. But anyway, I'll give you an update about what's been happening since last June. So last June, I came back from Windmill, already talked about it in the previous birthday video. And then after that, I was focused on practicing and improving myself towards the upcoming European Ultimate Championship. I made a video about that. We flew to Ireland. It was incredible. Easily some of my favorite times of last year. Then right after we came back from Ireland, I flew with the youth national team to Padova, Italy, to coach the national team. And it was something. can say it was an insane experience, but I still had lots of fun. You can watch that experience. I made a video about it. And then after we came back, uh, I had a lot of footage to go through. I had to make the window vlog, the EUC vlog, and the EYUC vlog. And I had like, I think, probably 30 hours of footage or something, and I had to edit all of it while still having another job in the army. So I could really focus all of my time on doing just that. And I was starting to feel a bit burnt out, as it usually happens around October. And I was having a creative block. I had all of these things to do and I didn't know what to do. Uh, so I was just walking, 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 walking. Didn't really make any content during that time. I was on a few clips, but I didn't really want to film anything because I just wanted to live in the moment and enjoy like having fun with my friends instead of trying to document it and make a video out of it. Uh, so like July through September go pretty smoothly, and then in October I was supposed to get discharged from the IDF after two years and eight months, and I was very excited about that, but a week before uh, I finished my military service, the war started. And it completely changed the rest of the year and everything I wanted to do. And I mean, like, it changed everything for everyone in Israel. And Unfortunately, it's still happening as we speak, and hopefully we'll be able to win this war very soon, and that it will end, and the hostages will be back, and you know, we could all just go back to our regular life, because and it's tough. Anyway, uh, the war started, and you know, everything shifted, and all of my plans changed. I was supposed to fly to New York in October with a friend of mine, and then it got delayed in November, and I ended up flying alone, but then my brother joined me, and was a confusing time uh, so right before the flight I didn't know what to do if I still want to fly and travel the world while my country is at war or do I want to stay in Israel and do what I can and just figure things out as I go I ended up deciding to fly to New York which was an incredible decision in my opinion I think I learned a lot about what I want to do going forward and I just had some incredible experiences with incredible people and like being in New York was definitely a wake up call for me to be like, okay, now you're a free man, you can do whatever you want. You can choose to either just do nothing and travel and just slack around, or you can create things and think about ways to innovate your channel and just to grow it. And like, I would say I'm an outgoing person usually, but since the war started, I when I was in New York, I was kind of afraid to speak to new people because I'm an Israeli and I wasn't really sure how people are going to respond because some people don't really like us and it was very confusing. So instead of actually meeting with a lot of people in New York, I ended up spending most of that time alone and with my family. And instead of staying in the States after that month and a half, I ended up flying to Greece, spending a few days there with my mom, not documenting any of it, which I 
kind of regret, but I also really appreciate the genuine moments that we had then. And I just spent a month and a half in New York and came back to Israel, not really sure what to do. Because, uh, like everything else, my business got hurt because of the war. Before the war, we were moving at an incredible pace and we had lots of clients. But because the war happened, things slowed down and we didn't have any clients practically. Uh, so I didn't have any income and it was kind of complicated. We were trying to figure that out for the next like few months. And, you know, like this is what I've been feeling between November to January. Like, I flew to New York in November, it was incredible, but I was very confused. Came back in mid-December and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do during like this month and a half between mid-December till the end of January. And after coming back from New York, I felt like I didn't really use the opportunity that I had in creating content in New York and just, you know, doing what I actually want to do, which is to be a travel content creator. Uh, so I started thinking about starting a daily challenge where I'll upload a video every single day just to give it a try. I thought I was going to reach lots of people and to help them and to inspire them. And I really wanted to give it a try because I felt like I had a lot of things to say. So I spent most of January thinking about how can I create content, thinking about ideas. I wrote like 50 of them and I started scripting all of it. And this is turned to the 100 day challenge that I did over on Instagram, uh, where I uploaded a video every single day for 100 days, uh, which was challenging. It also taught me a lot of things. Like I think that pretty much like I fell through the challenge, I realized that this is not really what I want to do, but I'm still going to finish it anyway, just to see what happens. Uh, but I realized like I enjoy making long form content for YouTube and not so much like the reels for Instagram. This not as my main activity or what's my main content strategy. And I definitely learned a lot during this month. It was a challenge, like, you know, thinking about a new idea every day, you definitely get into a grind and I had some lows, I had some highs, and overall I'm happy that I did it, but I was still making no progress on becoming content creator. And like in the background, we still have the entire wall thing that's going on and we still have the hostages. And like when I was in New York, uh, a childhood neighbor of mine actually died in Gaza, which I mean, we weren't very close in the last couple of years, but I did grow up with this person and like still thinking about it, it's, yeah, it's weird. like. I can't really explain how I feel about the situation because I know you like imagine losing someone you've known your entire life and think about like the fact that you're going to go up and he will never do that. He will stay 21 forever after protecting our country and sacrificing everything. And you know, all of these thoughts have been going inside my head for such a long time. And I've been starting to doubt if I actually want to do this content creation thing as a job anymore because my values have shifted a bit and like now I'm thinking about maybe wanting to be a coach and a little bit player more than a content creator but the problem with that is that like there's no way to make money doing that and everything just started to become a bit hazy like in February I remember clearly I wrote in my notebook that like for the first time in forever there's something I want to do more than to be a content creator, and that is to be a coach. And I'm not sure if I still agree with that statement fully, but going forward, like I'm considering like giving up on being a travel content creator and just focusing on being a coach and creating content around that, or maybe combining the two things, but I'm really not sure what to do. And this is how I've been feeling throughout the last few months. Um, so I did the challenge, it was pretty good hung out with some friends, tried to get back to life. And I honestly mainly focused on like my ultimate career as, you know, as a player, as a coach, I'm finally feeling like I'm back to being myself after the parasite I had last year. And I'm finally feeling like I'm able to play the way I want to and I'm feeling more energized and have more ideas. And this brings me to around this time uh, where I'm not really sure what to do. I have a championship with the national team in about five weeks, which I'm super excited about. Like, I really hope that we will perform the way we want because this year we're aiming for the podium and I think we'll be able to actually win the tournament if we play our tactics and 
if you just perform the way we can. And I can't wait to see the kids go out there and just give it their all. Because, I don't know, it's, we've been working for three years and I'm just excited to see that happening. And like, this is pretty much my main focus. This has been my main focus the past year. I've pretty much just been going to practices, making some videos for the 100 day challenge or for New Age, my club team, and you can check that out on like the New Age socials and everything. But like, I feel like this year, more than ever, I've been going even more into Ultimate Frisbee and being putting myself in more situations, but like we're raising, we're doing a fundraiser for the national team because of the work, like the costs are more than crippled. And that was an interesting thing that I haven't done in a few years. And like I said earlier, I learned a lot about myself, about the process, about what we need to do. And I also went on the radio for the first time to talk about the campaign, which was pretty cool. It was like two weeks ago. Um, I'm checking my notebook to see if I'm missing everything. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I'm in the beginning. I'm just feeling lost. I think like the last 12 minutes have just been me rambling and talking about things without really any current path. Um, but I think like this is kind of a summary of how I'm feeling. This is going to be a great time capsule for me to look in the future just to see how I felt during this time of my life. And I think this is also a great way for you to see that like not everything is perfect and we're all feeling lost and we don't have, we have no idea what we're doing and it's fine because I'm hoping that like, you know, in the next year or so I'll be actually going to succeed and turn this thing into a job. And if I do, you'll be able to see that right now, this point in time, on my 22nd birthday, I was feeling super lost and I didn't know what to do. Because I made a decision with myself that I'm going to give myself one year to focus on creating content and trying to make this my job. And after that, I'll have to choose a different path to focus on because I just have to make money somehow and I gotta start my career in a way. And I've been doing this part time for the past five or six years, like I think five and a half. And it didn't really go anywhere and I'm still enjoying it. I still love it, but things aren't working out. And if I wanna, actually do that, things need to stop moving. So I'm just going to devote myself for the next few months to that, to focusing on growing my content, to learn what I need to improve, what I think I need to improve as, like, for example, packaging, like thumbnail, title, intro, of that stuff, because I totally want to make it work, but it's also a bit harder to do that now, now that I know like that there's something else I want to do more and it's stronger than ever. So I'm not really sure what to do. These are just like my random thoughts about, you know, everything that's been happening. It's going to be an interesting year and hopefully like by age 23, I'll be able to tell you, hey, we're doing it full time, we made it, but maybe I'll do something completely different because there are so many things I don't know that I don't know. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see where it takes me. I'm definitely planning a lot of new YouTube videos to, like, to shoot and edit to create for you guys. Hopefully they'll be able to provide you some value. Uh, Cause like, I already have them, some of them scripted. I just need to actually get to filming them, which is apparently harder to do when you have other things on your mind. But hey, it might be a dream job, but it's still a job. This is something I'm reminding myself of all the time. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be interesting. If you, for some reason, still watching this, I really appreciate you and I want to thank you for just sticking around and being here for the last couple of years, if you've been on the start, because, uh, yeah, it's been one heck of a journey. This is without a doubt, like, one of my worst videos yet, but, I, like I said, it's a time cap, so we'll have to see how things turn out, but I genuinely want to say thank you. Like, I truly appreciate you taking time to feel day to watch this video, to listen to what I have to say. And that's honestly incredible. So thank you. Interesting things are coming your way soon, hopefully. Uh, flying to Greece with family, like I haven't mentioned that in like in three weeks. So that's going to be exciting. And hopefully next time we'll talk, we'll be in a regular YouTube video and not in an update video or something. And uh, yeah, just get excited for what you see 2024, because we're going to bring the gold medal home, hopefully. That's pretty much all I'm thinking about, to be honest. <laughs>
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This year has been difficult. It's been a lot of going, a lot of learning, a lot of reevaluating what I want to do. Like the world definitely puts things in perspective and changes plans and everything. And luckily, I'm fortunate enough to not have been that hurt by the world. There are so many people suffering because of this horrific thing. And I'm just thankful that like these are my problems. So we'll have to see what happens. And I'll just keep you posted. I think I said everything I wanted to say. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oof, I haven't done one of these in such a long time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you.